Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial and in this part we'll be having part two of the floor plan series. And what we're going to start off with is we're going to go over to the pen tool and make sure it's set to the polygon mode which is going to make sure all the lines will stay where they need. We're going to have the butt cap and we're going to come over here to the miter join. And um, we're going to go up and to make sure everything snaps perfectly and we get all of these in line with grid points. We're going to come up to snapping and we're going to come down to snap to grid. Now you can choose to uh, deselect all of these other ones but I'm just going to choose to keep it and I'm going to make grid point, grid point, grid point, grid point, grid point, and I'm going to set the width to 2, and I'm going to double hit escape to escape from that, and I'm going to come here, eyeball here, to here, and he, um, and then double hit escape, here, to here, actually, here, here. And you just kind of have to eyeball with the grid. Even if it's not perfect. You want to get it as close to the grid as possible just for the fact that it's going to make your life a lot easier when you have to move things. So right here I can just move this down and move it there and then move it there and that's the basic outline of the walls of this project and what I can do is select all of these and hit control and come to group and now this will be one singular shape that is just walls. Now this is the outline of the walls. Now obviously there's going to be other things. That is what we're going to cover in this part. In the next part we'll move on to more intricate details such as uh, adding fixtures and doors. But uh, that's how you get just the walls for your floor plan. And if you liked the video, subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials.